Hey everybody, we're back. It's two. It's after two-ish. Uh, this is uh, Mantic Games Virtual Open Day, and this is Cripple Fox Gaming. And I'm John Jack, and I'm joined by uh, Maya Jack, who's going to very patiently learn how to play Dungeon Saga Barroom Brawl, which is a game I kind of threw together for um, uh, the the live uh, for Mantic Night and stuff like that. And it, uh, let me uh, do some stuff here, and I will. Uh, I'll start talking again. I'm gonna share some stuff. Again, I need a. Minder to do. We're this. on the right channel this time. Yeah, I'm on the right channel. <laughs> Hooray! What's that? And one more for good measure. On in a group of Mantic Pathfinders. There, that should be posted to all the things. <laughs> I hope. So I need to. Okay, that's on. Yep, Cripple Box Gaming. You know what? If I, I bet if I looked at that initially, it would have seen the Chris you Plant thing. Yeah. Well, I saw it on the side, but I thought it was like, oh, comment as. Oh, Chris I Plant. see. It. Well, that makes sense. This well, is being... well, you know, everything, every day is. Well, I didn't know either, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Now I'm going to have to kind of look over that way and keep myself from toppling over backwards in this chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is uh, kind of my next take on uh, Dungeon Saga, which is the dungeon crawler game by Mantic Games, which is fantastic. It comes with a ton of stuff, and it's a really great, oh, easy-to-learn dungeon crawl. What's that? I can pull it up on YouTube. Oh, on this, on the other yeah. one? Yeah. Um, like literally just tap on it so I can oh. see that it's not, you know, mirror. Oh, on that. I yeah. see. Well, I can, well I, it doesn't, you have I to pull something how. up with the text. Because it's mirror. Oh, it's I see. Yeah, it's mirror. It's Mac backwards on that. Is this? I can't tell. Or put your hand. It's fine. Okay, it's good. Okay. Uh, anyway, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, it's going to be, I'll kind of give a brief. If you haven't played Dungeon Saga, it's pretty easy. Um, what I did is these are all of the all of the heroes in Dungeon Saga have these cards that come with them. These are some of the uh, extra ones that come in the expansions. The base game comes with Orloff, who is a guy who is uh, totally not uh, uh, Jason Momoa, as you can see, mm -hmm. and um, Orloff, human barbarian, Danor, a human wizard. Do, do, do. Uh, Madriga is the elf archer, and then uh, Garof, I think, is, is the dwarf uh, fighter beat stick guy. So, um, quick overview of how things are going to work in this. In Dungeon Saga, these stats are very similar. The thing over here in Dungeon Saga is movement. In this, it's action points. It's just how many uh, uh, little, how many things you can do each turn. The next thing is combat dice. This is how many dice you're going to roll if you're fighting or defending. This one's a four. Uh, if you're if you're fighting and defending, this is if you're shooting. It's got the shooting dice. You roll two. This is the range you're going to do it at. It's short range, which are these two little measuring sticks. Long range and short range. See, huh? get it? Long short. And then the last one is the armor stat. This is the number your opponent is going to have to beat to hit you in this game. And I'll, like I said, I'll leave these kind of up here if you can zoom in or want to zoom in on some of these things. I kind of had to tweak a couple of these stats because the dwarf was un, 
unhittable because you'd have to roll a five or a six to hit that guy. And in something like this, I don't think you take your best armor to the bar, do you? Probably not. This is a game that I came up with because Mantic was coming up with terrain for RP, for, for your games. You can use it for RPGs. You can use it for whatever you want. This is a combination of the stuff that was for the bar and stuff that came with Dungeon Saga. So what do the heroes do when they're not dungeon crawling fools? They go to the bar and they get in the fights. So this is what I kind of came up with. It, it, it's something literally just as an excuse for me to get more of this stuff. So I am going to show you kind of what I came up with. Uh, this game, again, is something I made up for Mantic Night. It's something, it's a beer and pretzels game. It's not meant to be taken seriously at all. It is just a, oh, there you go. It's a game for funsies, and it's a game for people who uh, may be a little bit diminished capacity to play and hopefully have a whole lot of fun, and it's a lot of silliness, and, and it's that's that's what I like to do. I like to go places and have fun and have people laugh at the things that I do. So the way this game is going to work, we are going to – we're just going to go around the, the table. I'm, I'm playing it with four players. You can play it up to eight because there's eight heroes in Dungeon Saga. And so I'm playing it with four for kind of to kind of make it a little bit shorter game. Or I'm playing with the base set of heroes that come with the basic Dungeon Saga set. So I'm going to – we're just going to go around. And what you'll do in this game – scoops this table over a bit closer to the door. There. You're going to pick a table, and your hero is going to be at that table. Why is that short something? Oh. Um, and then I will set this guy over here. And on, uh, go ahead and just pick a table and set your guys up just anywhere around. Okay, so this is what the bar. This is the this is the crippled fox uh, bar. It's populated this evening by uh, these four. Uh, they they are you know players from the game, and what they are going to do. The way you win this game, you need to get. I'll say with four players, we'll say we'll go. You have to get ten points, and the way you get ten points is by. There are several ways. You can fight your opponent, and you're going to get a point for every wound you'll do. These are the number of wounds that your guys have on their on their card. And you'll cover these up as you go. And then your opponent will get uh, points for every wound they inflict. And I'll show you how that happens here in a little bit. You can also gain points by doing things that happen in these, in these fun, fun events that I made up. Uh, it is... It's because no game is complete unless there's a chaos factor in it. These are random events that are going to happen in this game. And um, Martin Thurwell was good enough to take my uh, Microsoft Paint versions of these mm -hmm. and convert them into these uh, lovely art artwork kind of uh, cards that actually look like someone other than a 10-year-old uh, made. So, <laughs> so we'll do this. <clears throat> And I'll kind of just kind of talk my way through this. I will uh, show you real quick just how combat works. Let's say uh, Orloff was going to fight uh, 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 Madriga here. How this works, he's got five combat dice. So I'm going to roll five dice. Zzz, five dice. And Madriga is going to roll your combat dice is three. Your armor is two. Mm. I need a three or more to hit you in this in this case. So you'll roll three to defend yourself. I'll roll five to hit you. Which this this is not a balanced game by any. It, this is a game of it's like how can I you know, do really well at this game? And I need a was it three or more. So I've got I'm gonna load I'm gonna load them top to bottom. Three, four, four, six, six. Holy crud. What did you get? Three, four, five. We will, uh, you will compare yeah. them top to bottom. So five, four, three. Oh, here, bring those over here and I'll, and I'll put those over here. Uh, so we got a, f uh, a five, a four, and a three. My six beats that five. You'll take one wound. And this is just for me. Uh, my six beats that four. You'll take another wound. Holy mackerel. This was a one shot. Jeez. My four beats a three. <laughs> Am 
my four beats, your three, my four beats, nothing, my three beats, nothing. You, wow, I would have one shot. What now, here's the thing. I would get five points, which I found a place that makes up personalized bottle custom caps, bottle. custom bottle caps, crippled fox, baby. So um, I would get five points for that. And I would take, you know, five of those and throw them on my card. One, two, three, four, five. And Madriga, even though you took all the wounds you can, you're not taken out of the game because that would, that would really suck. Cause uh, so you'd be put down on the ground. And if it gets around to Madriga's turn, if you're knocked down, your action points are going to be cut in half. So you'd have four things you can do. Oh. And you can only crawl around on the floor. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do, since you're right next to a table, this is how the game works. This is how you get boosts in the game. You're going to spend an action point. So you'd have four action points since they're cut in half. You're going to spend one to take that up. You're going to pick something up. Okay. You're going to spend an action point to drink it. And when you take something off the table and use it to heal yourself, you roll a D6. Go ahead and roll a D6. On a one, uh, you take you lose a wound because it's like, ugh, something's off on this. On a, I think it was two through five. It's been so long since I played this. On a two through five, you get your wound back. So you would take that off, and then all of your action points would come back. You've spent two. So instead of having two left, you have six. Uh, on a six, you get what was called, <laughs> Nash came up with this. You get the, ooh, there's a sausage stuck to the bottom of this plate. So you get two wounds back. It's the surprise sausage roll. Okay. So yeah, this as awful as that sounds, but it's, you know, you, you can you can be cheeky or you can just be, ooh, you know, extra lunch. So um, <clears throat> I've got these things here. So that is, that's kind of combat. That's how healing works in this game. And I'll kind of just go through this as we go. I am going to go ahead and just, uh, Orloff has seven action points. So what he's going to do, he's going to spend an action point to take this off of here. I'm gonna, we're going to start this all over. And then here's your dice. Sorry. So he took some bottles off the table. I'm going to put that on my card. You can carry up to two things. So that way you're not just laden down with stuff. There's no weapons in the crippled fox because this is a bar. This isn't a this isn't an arena. And if you happen to get into happen to get hurt by something, that's your own darn fault. Uh -huh. So he spent one, he's picked one thing up. It's gonna cost one action point to move. So if I wanted to move four five squares, one, two, three, four, five, I would uh, I have six action points left. I could go one, two, three, four. Five and if I wanted to fight the wizard, it's going to be three action points to fight the wizard because otherwise these guys would just wail on people. Yeah, I don't have enough. I had six to get to here, right? One, two, yeah. three, four, five. Was it six or five? I was here or here. Man, I'm telling you, I, I, I think you were right there. I've got no short term memory. <laughs> one, two, three, four, yes, yeah, so five, sure, two. five, and then I would have one left because I picked one up. I'm going to pick up another thing just so I have two things. And that's the most I can carry. Uh, and so he's done. Danor, uh, the wizard is here. Now look at me throwing these names around. <laughs> that's six and you got six. Um, Danor, the wizard is next to the barbarian. He knows what's coming. Wizards in this game are kind of hamstrung. So I gave them a special ability. They're going to do this thing that's called crystallize. It's in the game. It's something you're going to go, and they make this magic crystal. You can do one of two things with that crystal. You can increase your armor by uh, one point. He's got an armor of one, so you'd need twos to hit him, which is a pretty, they're pretty, pretty weak. I'm going to increase that to two just in case. That's my free thing I can do. If I wanted to, I could add one to my combat dice. They're not good at fighting. Mm. Just face it. Um, and those are the two things you can do uh, with the, the free action of crystallize for the, the wizard. Um, he's got seven action points left. <laughs> he knows what's coming. Here's what else you can do with these things. Spend one to pick it up. I've got six left. I'm going to try to hit this guy, and I'm going to use this to hit him over the head. I'm going to use this mug, and I'm going to go blap. Uh, so I'm instead of I've, Danor has two combat dice. I'm going to roll three and try to beat Orloff's armor of two. I'll have you roll him. Actually, roll five dice, please. 
And then we'll say, do the same thing. We'll do top to bottom. This is the wizard hitting the barbarian in the face. Oh, geez. Okay. So we got 665. Wow, that's not terrible. Six. Okay, that blocks that. That doesn't block that. And that doesn't block that. So Danor will do two wounds to you. Or me, I guess, yeah. to me. Yeah, I'm fighting my own. Here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to beat my own guys up. And then Maya comes in and takes care of the rest. Yeah. So uh, Danor will also get um, two points for doing that. I'm going to take that glass. I'm going to put it over here on the bar since that's been used. And so he's uh, he spent one to pick it up. He spent three to fight him. So I've got three action points left. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go one, two, three over to here. And I've spent all seven of my action points. So it is now your turn. So you've got, oh, I need to remember. Help me remember. Um, events in this game happen at two different times. They happen at the end of the round and everybody's done. Mm -hmm. Dan Orloff went first, so he has the mug of initiative. And then the next time when we finish the round, it goes to Dan or and then it would go to or a uh, guy and that guy. It just goes around the table clockwise. Okay. So um go ahead and uh Gurov, uh is up next. Okay. So I've got two points here, and he's got two bottles there. Got that at that. And he's got six action points. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna use one. You can hmm? take this thing. Sure. And then you can move to hack. Yeah, yeah, you can move any direction, yeah. So you can make it if you want to fight him, you go one. Four. Yep. But then I don't have enough to if you went this way, this way. Oh. It's because you have five, four, three, you'd have oh. enough to hit the okay. wizard. So I'll do that. Yep. Oh, that's why I had this here. It was because his his uh, his armor went up to two. Okay. Yeah. You want to hit that guy? Okay, you're rolling four dice. I'm rolling two for my defense. You're going to need threes to hit me since my armor's up. Yeah. Okay, I got a uh, six and a one. Six, four, three. Okay, the six will knock out your six. What was the other ones? Four, three. So four and a three. Four and a three will do two wounds to my guy. Ding, ding. And then you get uh, two, two points for that. Like I said, we're playing to 10. Mm -hmm. So that's all of his actions. Uh, Madriga has eight actions to do. Uh, so, and you can how throw about, stuff. Say how far is the long range? That's long range. You could hit okay. pretty much if the elf's in the middle of the bar, you can hit just about pretty anywhere much. in that bar. And you, the way that works is you would pick something up and throw it. Okay. It's basically, you know, you, you're, you're going to do a shuriken with a plate yeah. or something okay. like that. And that's, I just kind of think of an elf kind of going, do, 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 and then, psh, who hit me with that thing? Okay. Um. And you're going to roll, you're going to throw four dice mm -hmm. on your combat thing. If you're, if you're throwing, if you're throwing uh, stuff around. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pick the plate. Okay. That's one. So you got seven left. Yes. Yep. And then I'm going to throw it at this guy. Okay, Orloff's got five dice. He's hard to hit, but you know you need you're going to need uh, threes to hit. And this is my defense. Fives and threes. Oh, I can already tell you. Now. Um, <laughs> five. Uh, okay, I don't need that. Four. So uh, top to bottom, what do you Four. got? Four. Four. Okay, I beat that. A three. A three tied. A two and a one. A two and a one. Okay, so you didn't do anything against him. So it's it's so just. So then do I put this back on the bar? Oh yes, you put that back on the bar since you used that, and you can also pick up another one. You can only pick up two things each turn. The same thing. You can't you can't you can't walk around so with just an mess. arm full of stuff. So that's you, it was one to pick it up. Four. Three to fight. Yeah. So you've got so I'm four gonna left. Thing, test, test. And I'm gonna throw it at this guy. I'm gonna throw it at you. Dumb wizard guy. Yeah. Uh, you can only attack once. Or no. Yeah, you can only attack once per round. Oh, sorry. sorry. Well, because like I said, otherwise this guy would just stand next to somebody and just uh, all day. Okay, so I'm going to move. Smart. Okay. Did you have another? Or you picked, oh, you picked something yeah. up and took off. Okay. Uh, so now we, are, now we are at the end of the round. So what we're going to do at the end of the round, the last player will take a D6. And you're going to roll, and then you are going to move the bartender. And the bartender is very efficient. If he goes adjacent to any tables that are empty, he's going to fill them up as he goes. I need to get some more stuff to put on the tables. So uh, we'll just jerry-rig this. So go ahead. 
He'll move two, and so you're going to move him. And if you want to move him because you know you're going to need a refill sooner or later, you can move him. And he can move any direction. He can move like one. Wow, there's not that's he's getting kind of pokey. So yeah, you can move him, sure. And then he can then he'll put two on this table. Okay. And also, if you are adjacent to the bartender, you cannot fight and you cannot be hit. So if you're feeling, oh, I'm feeling a little sluggish. Now, did you loot take all your oh no, that was the that was the practice one that we did the wounds. Okay. Yeah. So we are now to the end of the round. So we're at the beginning of the of round two. We're going to draw a an event card. This is, oh, hey, that was perfect. This card is invisible help. All empty tables are miraculously refilled. The players are momentarily unnerved by a cold breeze that has wafted through the tavern. So I'm going to, let's just do this. Let's just do, actually, let's do this. We'll put these up here and throw some, oh, yeah, just, throw, oh, no, here, I need, I need two, two of something. So let's do... Well, I've got little tables somewhere, or little, um, well, anyway, let's just do this. No, 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 I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to keep track of what, <laughs> all this stuff I've had. It took me half an hour to find all my yeah. stuff. <laughs> so, okay, so um, Orloff went first. It is now Danor's turn to go uh, to, oh, here's the other thing. The other time an event can occur is if during combat, either player, rolls two ones during combat. If both players roll two ones, you're going to draw two events because it's just stuff is just going yeah. south. So, okay, Danor is there. So he's probably going to get pasted here. Oh, here's the other thing. I'm going to do my, my free crystallize. I'm just going to keep that as a two because that'll help his survivability. He's got seven action points left. I'm going to pick something up. Oh boy. And I am going to, I'm going to use it. I'm going to drink it. And I'm going to, I'll get one wound back. So I'll take that wound off. That's two things I've done. I'm going to pick up another thing. Okay, I use that. So that's going on the bar. I'm going to pick that other thing. I could drink it right now, but I'm not going to. I've gotten, I've done one thing, two things. I've got five action points left. I'm going to GTFO. So one, two, three, four, five over to here. And it is uh, Guroff's yeah. turn, the dwarf's turn. So you're going to have to go after somebody other than me with your short, stubby little legs. How dare you? I'm out of here. I'm no dummy. No, I know. <laughs> the, the head wizard didn't rate no dummy. Can you, if you're, like, if I was here, can mm -hmm. I attack him? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to be next to them. Cool. Uh, adjacent so by any go. square. One, two, three. Yeah, that's You're attacking uh, the other guy? Yeah. I heal who you're attacking, Madriga. Or no, you're attacking uh, the barbarian, yeah. not Jason Momoa. Yeah. Okay, he's got five dice. You need threes to hit him. Ooh, oh, oh good, Nico. Well, I rolled two ones. I got two fours. <laughs> okay, it's going south already. I rolled two ones, you rolled two ones. I rolled a four and a four. And a four, a three, and two ones. Okay, a four and a three. <laughs> uh, uh, so we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah. So, okay. We both rolled two ones. So here you go. Read that up. It's a perfect use. Kegs bill. Someone, <laughs> someone has mistakenly kicked the tap out of a keg, spilling its contents on the floor. All heroes lose half of their action points rounded up until the next oh, round. Oh, my. Okay. So <laughs> until the next round. Okay. Yeah. Uh, leave that out here so we remember. So, so he's done. So that before Maverick is going to have four, and he'll have three rounded up to four. Yeah. Now, uh, Orloff has generosity. The players with the highest number of victory points donates it to the players with the lowest number of victory points. Who's got? I've got two. That's, that's just two. There's only two victory points out here. Three. Two. Oh, that was just. I oh, that's that, that, was, that was the other one. Yeah. Then I don't know. What so we go. I also have two. You're lo okay. You will take one and give it to Madriga. I will take one and give it to Orloff. So that's the generosity one. That's how you keep. That's how. That's how it kind of keeps it from running away. It's like, well, I've got ten points. I've got one. Well, now I can't do anything. 
uh, one person have to get uh, 10 points? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever gets 10 points first. And there's other ways you can get, there's there's ways to get like, well, if you, you know, yeah. one shot somebody, but there's also um, uh, uh, events that's like, oh, hey, here, spend a food to get three points okay. to feed the dog or something like that. So he went, mm -hmm. he, oh, he, he, that was, that was all his turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now to Madriga, who now only has, <laughs> has four, four okay. points of, because uh, someone so, kicked out the tab. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Okay. This. Sure. Okay, so you got one, so put that up there. So it's gonna be one, it's gonna be three to attack him. And he's got two dice. Uh, you need threes. Four and two twos. And okay. <laughs> huh? A four, two twos. Oh, two twos, no one. Okay, so we we didn't, neither one of us rolled double ones. Yeah. I beat the four. Mm -hmm. What was the other ones you got? Two. No. You need three to hit him. Yeah, he up to, okay, so I'm fine. Wow, that was kind of smart. Okay, um, that's is that, oh, that's it. Oh, and then you could pick something up because it was three to hit him. There you go. Uh, okay, and then it's going to be Orloff. Has got four. I'm going to punch the dwarf back because you're kind of a jerk. Yep. Uh, I need fours, and this is the hard part about fighting a dwarf in plate mail. I need fours. Go ahead and roll up your four attack dice. But I got, I have two that could potentially uh, beat you. So the six will block the six. So the five. So I will do one wound to you, and I will get a point from that. And that is it for me. No, I have four. I can move one. I could. Yeah, you can move. I can move. I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna step away. I and you don't. You can do. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I could have drank one of these, but I think I'm fine with two wounds. Yeah. That way, if somebody beats on me later, it is now the end of the turn. I am going to pass this to you, but we will also now this keg spill is done because it's the end of the round. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw another event. Oh, I am going to have him uh, roll to move the bartender. Five. So we'll refill this one to start with. Ding ding. He's moving him, so hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So that way, if the dwarf gets over here, you can't fight my guy because I'm talking to the bartender. Oh. And the event is gonna be Sucker Punch. <laughs> oh brother. The player who was attacked last in the round gets an immediate free attack against the player who attacked them. Was that, Was that him yeah, attacked you? Yeah. He's okay. Uh, he also receives an additional attack die, even if the model's on the floor. So I somehow. I say, does that count? Yeah, because okay. I. Well, it's just it's just a random thing. It's okay. it's, it's it's him at the other end of the table oh. sliding it. So I'm getting five dice. I need fours. No, I. Do you get another die or do I? Were you attacked last? Oh, you yes. were attacked last. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, you're going to attack so me. That's right. I'm glad someone's paying attention because it's not me. I get you get, a, you get five dice to hit and you need threes. And I'm getting a five. So anything you have that's over three yep. is going to be, yes. holy cow. So your <laughs> six beats my five. Your five, five beats, beats my four. Four cancels out. Four cancels out. Your three beats my two. And, then, and the ones are one. So you got, th I just took three wounds. Is that right? Nice. So you get three points. Okay. Again, there we go. So I am now down on the ground. Did I put them on the guy? Or do I just well, you just, you just have them over by your, you can put them on your card just so you know. So I'm going to be down on the ground. And what will happen is I will have my action points are halved. Uh, I don't know. Attacked you. Okay. Uh, so um, I have got anything coming up on anything. Um, I have got, let's see. So that goes to you. So you're going to be first. That was the sucker punch. That was the event. It is uh, the top of the round. Go ahead. So, okay. So now I'm this guy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you can't attack someone who's down because yeah. that's just unsportsmanlike. Yeah. And the, he's next to the bartender anyway. So. Okay. So. I might not be able to get to anybody. One, two, three, three. No. Four, five, six. There you go. 
Uh, okay, so you just have blue. Okay, so you move. So uh, Maverick is up next. Now I'm. Yeah, just start chucking plates around. Sure. Okay, I'm getting my two guys, and you need threes because my magic is still protecting me. A six and a two. Okay, so that cancels that out. One, two, three. Jeez. Yeah, wizards are kind of squishy. Like I said, there's no there's no balance to this game. This is absolutely for funsies. And you get three from that. So you've got two ding, four points. So both of your uh, once again. They all have to I I do not. Uh so that was was that 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 you threw? Yes. Okay, so put that another thing. Uh so that was three, so you got five left. So you could uh not attacking you. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can pick one up and move to yep. somewhere where there might be a thing. Yep, there's one, so that's four. Okay, you can move towards where there's going to be some stuff too. Are you, are you just backing up and just yeah. just going to be just, yes. just plate all day? Okay, uh, it is my turn. I've got half of my action points since I'm on the ground, so I'm going to need to drink something. Good thing I've got two things under my arm. Yeah, keeping that ale nice and warm. I'm getting two back. Sweet. That was a secret sausage. Bing. Nice. So he's back up. So it was one. He's got six left. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to use this one. I am going to, just in case, I'm going to throw another one under my arm. Six, five. Oh, Dude. dear God, no. Four, three, and I'm going to hit the dwarf. Two, three, four, five. You know what? Turnabout's fair play. I'm going to add one to it. You can also climb on the tables and get an advantage. You'd spend an action point to climb up onto the table, and then you and then you hit them. You get a bonus die for hitting them. But if you roll any ones, you fall off the table. I need fours. I got nothing. I didn't roll two ones though, so okay. And I was gonna say it probably doesn't matter what I roll. Did you? Oh yeah. Well, it's well, it would have it would have deflected whatever. So yeah. okay. Um, that is that's that. Okay. Uh, not Jason Momoa did not do well. He's busy, you know, doing the Aquaman thing where he's just just drinking and drinking and smashing. Uh, wizard's turn. I'm gonna use my crystal eyes to take myself up to two again, which is not a terrible idea. So. Actually, I'm going to drink one, and I'm going to get one more back, just in case. So that's one action. I'm going to go one, two, three, seven, six, five, four. Pick one up, and four. Three. I can't get there. I can't get there to fight somebody. Um, you know what? what the heck? I'm going to pick up another one. Four, three, three, two, one, and and that's it. And that's it. Okay. Uh, it is back to the dwarf. So nobody. So we're so we're at the end of the round. Um, I'm going to have Danor move. Or no, he, who went last? Danor is going to move the bartender around. Five, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. So you can attack the wizard. Uh, it is uh, Madrigus' turn. Do you know? Do you have magic? Oh, event. Yes, thank you. Uh, an impressive display. Sweet. This is one of my favorite cards. A local beauty enters the bar and disrupts the evening events. Evening nice. events. All players roll a d6, and I'll tell you what happens. Uh, this is for the wizard. Gets a two. Uh, Orlock gets two as well. Okay. On a one, she winked at me. Lose one action point due to the distraction. She's popping some out. So you're getting five, two is watch this plus one to the player character's combat dice so he's going to get three and orloff no, is going to get six and then what else did you roll a five you will get uh four to that so you'll have four combat dice or five if you're throwing it 
That's ridiculous. If you got a six, drool. The leering player loses all action points. He's so good. It's it's the it's the Tex Avery cartoon wolf hitting himself on the head with a mallet yeah. with his tongue rolling out like a carp. <laughs> uh, so, so she's going first, right? Magic is going first. Okay, so she's there. Uh, you got eight uh, eight action points with a load of extra dice. Yeah. Okay. Um. I need to measure that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, you can hit anybody around yeah. there. You can't hit him because he's standing yeah. by the bar. Right, so I'm going to throw these little tiny okay. itty bitty baby plates. Chucking them plates about. Uh, your dumb guy. My guy? Yeah. Dude, really? Okay, whatever. Yeah. I'm getting six dice for my defense. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need uh, threes. High to low. Ding, ding, ding. What you got? Four. S five beats your four. Four. Four ties. Three, three ties. Two. Three. One. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. It, 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 it was really cheap plate. Yeah. Okay. So that's three actions you've taken. Mm -hmm. uh, you can still, you still got five left. <laughs> you can just go that way. Five, okay. Uh, elf is getting pretty is smart to stay away. Okay, so that's it. Yep. And it's Orloff's turn. Yep. He saw where that came from, but can I get to you? One, two, three, four. I can't. Five. Yeah, because I'm Yep. I'm have half action. Uh, no, 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 because I had... No, because I was down, and I got, I got back up. No. The okay. kegs go from... No, he, he oh, he's loses. Got yeah, he, he he's got he loses one because okay. he's like, ooh, she winked at me. And oh, he keeps yeah, 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 he's, yeah, yeah. he's basically okay, looking okay. over his shoulder, going, huh, huh, huh. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go. You know what? I gotta. This dwarf's giving me fits. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna pick one up. Five, and just get all up in your business. So I'm a little bit closer to where mm -hmm. you're gonna be. He's like, you know, I saw that elf. Nice. Um, <laughs> and we're back to the wizard. I'm gonna up my business by one. Up your business. Up my up my armor up by my one. Business. <laughs> and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one. You know why not two? And I'm gonna hit the dwarf over the head with a thing. Three, dude. <laughs> so I did one, two. I'm gonna need three to hit the guy, so I'll have two left. So I'm gonna go two. Oh, and I get plus one because the gal's watching me. The cute lady. Ooh, lady's gonna be it. So I need threes. Oh shoot, that'd be hilarious. Oh, it's an orc. You never know. I need four. Oh, there's one. So I will do one de uh, defense. So you're getting. Uh, you yeah yeah yeah. So you're using fours. Yeah. So I I have a six. So you need to beat a six. So okay. Well, I'll do one to you. So that'll give me a point and I'll give you a wound. Dink. I got two. That's that. So. We have got, uh, I think that's him done. Oh, and then I can pick another one up. I think I had one left. Dwarf turn. Excuse me. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, five action points. Yeah, well, you know, you could, you could still, yeah. that wizard be dare to waste perfectly good bunch ale. Of, bunch, bunch of okay. You can use your bottle and add another die to it. What? Okay, I get two dice. I was gonna say you could be only got two at the time. Yeah. I'm not gonna have. Them. Good point. You need threes. Yeah. Uh, did you get any? Uh, okay. My five will knock that down. Four. And a four. Did you roll any? A uh, five and a four. Yeah. Five, four, three, one. So two wounds. Dang it. Okay. Well, my knock my wizard down. So you're getting two points for that. Do 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 do. So he's got six, and I've got. All the wounds now. So you have, what do you have left? You lost one. It took three to do it, so you have two left. Okay. I'm going to grab this one. Okay. And I'm going to go with one. All right. And we are to the end. Uh, roll a d6 to move the bartender. Hey, bartender. Okay. Ding, ding. Three. Okay, 
And this, and we'll throw, let's get some, oh, man, I gotta make more, I've gotta mix some little mugs and stuff. Yeah. Not the way about extra ones to be used to. Just throwing kegs out on the table. Like, all right, you filthy, why did you, I'm running out of glasses, just put yeah. your mouth right on the tap. Yeah. Uh, so this one will go to yeah. him. An event. Fire, sweet. Okay. Uh, what was in that drink? A fire starts on a random table. I'll have you roll a d6 for each table. Uh, we're rolling for here. Six. On a one to three, the fire starts on that table. So roll for this. Two. Okay, so it starts on this table. Uh, Here's the thing. Um, uh, the fire starts on that table. Stop rolling once it starts. Any hero adjacent will take a single wound unless the fire is put out by using... the bartender. Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, the bartender's like, nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> that table's not worth it anyway. Uh, if the fire is not put out by the end of the player's turn, it will spread to a random adjacent table. Randomized is described for the initial placement. A hero that puts out the fire receives three victory points for their selfless bravery in the face of immolation. You need to spend four action points to put out the fire. Uh, so... Uh, it is Orloff's turn, so he's going to do... I, I'll i show you that he thinks the gal's still over by the door. So I'm going to get three victory points by going one, a two, uh, seven, six, five. He's got two. five actions left. He's going to put out the fire. Whew. And he's going to get, what did I say, three? Mm -hmm. Three victory points. So he's got five now, which isn't terrible. And I think I'm going to uh, drink one to get one back. Okay. That is him done. Wizard needs food badly. Hey, there's you won't get that. It's all for people my age who hung out at the game store or at the <laughs> arcade. I'm going to crystallize, use my two. He's going to drink uh, one. And I'm going to, oh, no, that was a terrible, gross something. I'm going to have to spend another one to drink another one. Okay, I'll get one back. Jeez. Okay, he would have had seven, half, three and a half, four. So I drank one, drank another one. Okay, he's going he's gonna to stand up and pick something else up just so I can basically get that off the table. Mm -hmm. I spent two. I healed myself. Took me up to five. Took something out. There we go. To four. Four. And now I'm going to, you know, I'm going to drink another one because why would you <laughs> not? Uh, oh, nice. I get two back. So, okay. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, I've got one left. I'm going to stand by this full table. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, the, the wizard's kind of got, he's like, man, I was going to go put that fire out and stuff. Yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead. Not my wizard. Yeah. You need threes, and I'm going to, man, a little two, I guess. Oh, no. Well, there's two ones. Two fours, a three, and a two. Did you really just one shot me again? One, two, three wounds? Yeah, you nice. Well, you might have just, oh no, how many did you get? One, one two, three, so you get three. Mm -hmm. Did you really just get nine points? One, two, three, you are one point away from winning this, you stink. Well, I rolled two what? ones, so there's an event, Wild Magics, oh, of course. If this would have come soon, Wild Magics, Oh, sparks for the year. All spellcasters get three attack dice until the next round. That's baloney. Man, I'm so okay, weird. whatever. I'm back down on the ground. You don't. <laughs> wow. That was good. I'm glad I ran one step yeah. away. Okay. So that's so he did. You moved so one. I moved, I moved spent two and then spent two, three. Spent three, so that's five. You got one left. Uh you don't really need to you could drink something. Yeah, okay. Got one left. And then just roll. I hope you take a wound. You stink. Two! You get two back because it's the it's the hidden sauce. Because I'm cool. 
<sighs> okay. You know, really? You, yes. you are, I really yep. hope you lose all your money yeah, okay. next year. Oh, okay. the halfling thief could come in and start taking stuff from you. I don't know. <laughs> you have to get to her first. Yeah, true. Okay, so. All right. Um, all right. You have I'm the elf. Sure. Do I still have five to this? No, no, that was the end okay. of the last turn because that that was the that was the the girl and the, the madra girl madra. Okay, so you're throwing this at who? What? Okay, I'm getting to five. You need threes because he's lightly armored. But he's kind of beefy. God, why does he keep doing that? Four. Six. Okay, done that. Okay, done that. Four. Five. Uh, that you'll take. I'll take one. Three. Two. Three. Three. Wow, I took three. Jeez. One, two, three. So you want, man, okay. Jeez, old Pete's. Okay. Uh, now, um, okay, so that was three to a you, you had, yeah, three. So you've got uh, five left. Four, three, two, one. Okay, uh, we are back to Orloff. So at the end, rolling up for the move in the bar, Tenda. So he will fill that up. Ding. Wait, shouldn't I roll since you saw? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you you roll. Oh. Yeah, you roll. Right. We'll go ahead and roll. I mean, he's gonna put one there anyway. It was a five. <laughs> so okay, where do you want him to go? Wherever you want. Can I step on the guy? No, no, he's like oh, no. Another, I, mean, another... I meant like can I step. Drunk barbarian. Oh, you can go over him, yeah. How many was that? Three. That was one, two, three, yeah. Four or five. five. There you go. Okay. Uh, event. My stupid yeah. wild magic. Rats! Nice. <laughs> Vile rats in the cellar have been agitated by all the ruckus. D6 large rats run out from behind the bar, moving directly toward the front door. Any hero may attack any number of rats per turn, scoring victory points per wound inflicted. So this pile of rat basically has six wounds. <laughs> six wounds. Uh, a score of victory. Unfortunately, the rats have been made vicious from starvation. Any hero adjacent to the moving rats at any point during their movement will sustain one wound. The stat rat stats are... Rat stats. Rat stats. Rat stats. They move five but they are not great at doing things. So they're gonna go <laughs> directly toward the door. So one, two, three, four, five. So oh one, my God. two, three, four, five. So you are going to, you, you're, he will take a wound, yeah. Um, is at any point to, during their movement. Is he able to attack them? Yeah, he, you can solve a rat anytime. Th this is where he's gonna just clean up. So we are back well, what to- do I, What do I have to roll to get? Him? You need to hit, you need twos. Basically, to hit them, and they have two defense dice. Um, I don't know what their stealth stealth model cannot be seen or shot at beyond short range. Okay, so they're so small. Okay. Danor is going next. Kachunk. Yep. Uh, I'm going to set that there. Yeah. So he's got to drink something. So I'm going to drink this. Do you have anything? To yeah, yeah. I had I picked one up. So okay. So oh, nice. He gets two back. Okay. So I had okay. It costs one to drink that. So it's yeah. one. Uh, to do that. So I'm going to pick this up and right over the door's head. That's one. That's two. two okay. Two. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Counting them down. Drank one. Okay. Picked one up. Okay. Three to hit you. Maths. Two left. And then I'll have two left. Okay. So I'm getting one, two. I'm going to crystallize and add one to my combat dice because I get the feeling you're going to turn around and pimp slap me. I need a lot. <laughs> One, two, three. I can either pimp slap you or I can pimp slap the rat. That's true. Okay, <laughs> I get two. I crystallize to add one to it. I'm using this to add another one. And I'll still have two action points. So what do left. I need to roll? You, you're just rolling defense. I oh. need, see, I need fours to hit you. Where it's still, well, that's okay. So I got two. That, okay. A six and a five. Six. Okay, that'll block that. Four. Uh, okay, I get one. And then two threes. Okay. So I will get. I have three points, Do and you so one. you're you you don't get any for. Oh yeah, you take one. Yeah, yeah because I took. Yeah, you get them one. Nice. Uh, then I mean it's 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 equal. Do you want to hit me back or do you want to hit the? Right? We're both ones. 
or you would need twos to hit either of us. I'm going to actually, I had, did I have, did I have two left? Five. I have one left. I'm going to GTFO and move there. Um, so I guess you're going to have to splat the rat. Can't I move? Well, you don't have to. I mean, you could just hit the rats. They're right there. You've got, they've got six wounds. So you could just I mean, sit there and I just. Could, or I could be rude and use overkill and just come in. Just <laughs> you sure could. Yeah, just punch the wizard. Okay. Um, so uh, what was the deal? Any hero moves the moving rat. Okay, that was on their round. So yeah. they will uh, sustain one wound. So you wouldn't get one until they moved again. So uh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Just come over there, pimp slap the, the poor, poor evil. Oh, poor <laughs> He's not evil. He's, yeah, you need two. I really wish that would have gone better, but I think it's not gonna. All right, five and a foe. Oh, no, well, there's one. Need. That's all you <laughs> needed. That's all you need. That's so, so yeah, so yeah, so you have one. Yay. Uh, I didn't talk about my remember all. Nice job, and that was. Wait, what is the Probably only time it is? It's about 40, about 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Yeah, so that's and it, and it gets the more people you get, the more chances you get for the events to come through. Mm -hmm. And again, this is something that we play at um, Mantic Night. At uh, I mean, if, if Gen Con is still going to be a thing, I'll see you guys there. If not, uh, we'll we'll be at Adepticon. This is kind of a standard, uh, silly, fun game and. Uh, you might even win some of these uh, cool bottle caps if you're there because I'm going to bring them, and that's kind of the. Because uh, there's enough bonded stuff. There's enough. Well, I got enough to have, to I think I got 50 of them or something yeah. like that, just stupid cheap. So, it's um, they worked out really well, and they look great, and it's mm -hmm. you know it's something fun to take home from the thing, all the dice and all the dice that goes there, that goes there, and that's it. Uh, that's Dungeon Saga Bar and Brawl. There's other events. Um, oh I've got the, I'll have, like I said, I'll figure out a way to get the rules posted somewhere. They've got them at Mantic mm -hmm. HQ. They had them uh, for, uh, they had an open day that it went fairly well. So uh, other than that, that's, uh, that's it. I will go click this thing and uh, that's all. Have a, uh, again, um, on the other one, you know, uh, stay safe. Uh, 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 you know, wash your hands and wash your face and wash your elbows. And if you have to mask up to go out, do so. Be safe and take care of yourself and take care, of, take care of each other too. Uh, later skaters, John Jack, Cripple Fox Gaming, signing off. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. You're